So today we're looking at a project called the Open Source University. Let's get straight into it. Welcome back to the channel everybody with me, your host, the Crypto Vapor. So today I'm vaping on my beloved Banshee RDA and some AVB liquids. AVB, AVB liquids are an independent firm here in the UK and one of the best around in my opinion. If you're looking for flavor, you cannot go around with these guys. Check them out. So if this is your first time to the channel, show us some love and hit that subscribe button below. So today's video is focused on a project called Open Source University or simply OS University for short. The OS University is a blockchain based educational marketplace that seeks to connect organizations and individuals to one another in order to provide educational and employment opportunities for learners, facilitate recruitment for businesses and provide strategic partnerships for educational institutions. So without further ado, let's take a look at the website. So here is the Open Source University website. And as you can see, the ICO starts in just over six days and 12 hours. And as you can see, they state they are the world's academic and career development ledger. So if we scroll down, we can see their vision. OS University is the first decentralized education 4.0 platform. We provide learners with a digital credentials wallet, which enables them to find the best academic and career development opportunities by being connected to academia and businesses via the blockchain. Now, some of the problems they have identified, which they're attempting to solve, the lack of trust in the authenticity of certificates gained by learners, the shortage of information among HR specialists about applicants' interests and achievements, the need to prepare and to constantly update CVs according to the latest standards, the amount of time wasted on searching for the right job instead of developing new skills, the hassle businesses have when searching for the right employees, the difficulty measuring the actual demand for specific skills and courses in academia. Essentially, they're bringing universities, businesses and learners together. And you can see this summarized a little bit better in the white paper. So this is what the platform should look like when it's finished. It's currently in its alpha phase. But if we scroll down, we can see exactly what each entity gets out of this. So businesses will have an instant access to a global pool of talent with traceable credentials, enabling smarter recruitment. Learners will obviously get access to a wide range of courses. Their accomplishments and achievements will be validated and verified through the blockchain showcased worldwide. Obviously, the universities and organizations will get more students and it's a leaner, more transparent and cost effective credentialing model. This is the current state of the alpha development of the platform. So they are making some progress on this. And so the reason why they're using blockchain for this is the easiest way to store people's education, certification and achievements. It also brings trust between untrusted parties and can facilitate potential agreements and all kinds of communication between businesses, academia and learners. This saves time and money while avoiding any misunderstandings. Now, if we take a look at the team, this is a superstar team in my opinion. They have a superb blend of academics, entrepreneurs, software developers, CEOs of large investment companies, professors, indeed, indeed the professor of finance and economics at Durham University Business School is involved in this. They've got people from the public sector and blockchain developers. The list goes on and on and they have bags of experience. So definitely one of the major selling points behind this project. So if we take a look at the token distribution and budget allocation, we can see during the pre-sale, 4.8 million tokens were sold and the upcoming ICO is going to have 30 million EDU tokens. So if we take a look at the token information, the open source university's token is called the EDU token. Payment and rewards within the open source university ecosystem is controlled exclusively through its Ethereum-based EDU token. 
Every learner will have a credentials wallet in which to store data about his or her learning accomplishments. The blockchain will serve as a medium to validate these accomplishments. Now there's a total of 48 million tokens. Only 34.8 million of these tokens will be sold. 4.8 million have been sold in the pre-sale. And the upcoming ICO will have 30 million tokens. Their goal is to raise 3700 Ethereum and this will go towards funding the alpha release of the platform. The EDU tokens are used to pay for courses and other items in the marketplace. So during the ICO sale, one Ether will get you 750 EDU tokens. And like I was saying earlier, this is how it's broken down. Pre-sale will have four, pre-sale had 4.8 million. The public token sale will have 30 million. Open Source University will have 8.4 million. The team and advisors will be getting 3.8 million. And the bounty program will have 960,000. So if we take a look at the roadmap, we can see they've been making steady progress since 2015. And this year should see EDU tokens listed on exchanges and the beta version of the platform released. So that was a quick look at the Open Source University website. So essentially, Open Source University will bring together learners, businesses, and educational institutions. The learners will be able to enhance their learning and development. Businesses will get access to a global pool of talent with verified credentials, and universities will be able to market themselves globally at ultra low costs. Now, don't forget, online education is a huge marketplace at the moment. According to Forbes, the online education market alone is worth over 165 billion. This is projected to reach 240 billion by 2023. Now on the flip side of that, it is a very, very competitive space. Now Open Source University is marketing itself as the one and only educational cryptocurrency project you'll ever need. It has a neat table that compares itself to similar projects currently out there. And as you can see, when you compare it to these other projects, it does appear to have the upper hand. Now, one of the biggest selling points with this project is the team behind it. Like I was saying earlier, they have bags of experience. They come from a lot of different backgrounds. And that gives me a lot of faith in this project. There was a couple of small things that ticked me off about this project. The roadmap does have a lot in it, but I think it could be a little bit clearer. The same can be applied to the website. It can be tricky at times to find out what you're looking for. It would also be nice to see a live demo before the ICO launches. But honestly, I'm nitpicking here. Overall, I really like this project. I think it's very worthwhile. They're tapping into a huge market. They seem to be making a lot of progress. Don't forget this started in 2015. They got a fantastic team behind it. The general consensus would be, this is a very northworthy project that's got a lot of backing behind it. It's certainly a mid to long term hold, but one that has very good potential. Like I was saying, they're currently working on the alpha version of this project, the beta version due by the end of the year. This should have a positive impact on its token evaluation, and it will be exciting to see this project develop over the coming months and into next year. <clears throat> so that was a quick look at the Open Source University. Like I said, just over six days time the ICO begins. This is definitely one I'll be keeping an eye on. Remember, this is not financial advice. I am merely thinking out loud. Always do your own research and only invest what you can afford to lose. Now, I'd love to know what you think of this project. Let me know below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.